All right, so right now we're going to take off the outer shell of the fridge, and up front here we have the uh, windows, the ports. So what we're going to do is take off those ports and replace them with ones with holes in it and see how it goes. So this is a four inch optical port so we can get in uh, up to a you know, 100 millimeter size uh, beam into the fridge. At the moment, only the outside is gonna be a 100 millimeter port. The inner shield, which you can see here and here, for now we're just gonna have uh, 50 millimeter, two inch ports, uh, because that's the size of our array. But the four inch front port, we'll just can keep it that way and not mess with it as we go forward. All right, so we've installed the windows, the window holders, on each one of the intermediate shields. And so now we can reassemble and do the alignment of the spectrograph. Uh, the other half of it comes here. Some of it actually hits this face, comes back here, reflects off of this and then passes through the system again. Uh, some of, th this is an optic that forms an image of what it sees. If this is a collimated beam hitting this, any scattering off the, the actual coating in the center, that light goes in all directions. The optic will make an image of it as well. Um, same thing with, you know, light comes to this surface. Some of it doesn't transmit through the surface. It goes right back to that. Um, and, and you can kind of get a sense of where they might be coming from based on what moves when you need to fly. So there are ghosts that you see even if I block this beam. All right, what's the problem? Um, I, I couldn't even get it started. Um, with the O-ring in? What yeah. about without the O-ring? Oh, it, it will barely go in without the O-ring. Yeah, the, the diametral clearance on, on this kind of seal is about five thousandths of an inch. Um, but that is a seal designed to conform to the Parker O-ring handbook standards. Sometimes um, you can go, if it's too tight, we can often downsize to a slightly smaller O-ring so that there's not as much squeeze. And you probably will work without that O-ring, but just using the face seal. It's a nice piece of uh, fused quartz there, very clear. And because I was nervous, we went and did FEA on the lip, pressing on the quartz, and it's okay. That's why I got it so thick. I think I, I, think I did the math before I ordered it at 12 because it was hard to get one this thick. I was more concerned about the... Oh, the, about the aluminum? Sharp, yeah, a sharp part of the aluminum as a knife edge into the glass. Yeah, the glass is a lot harder than the aluminum, so yeah. it should be okay. Um, okay, so you, do you want to just use it like that for now? It's probably fine. I, I can't get it in there, and, and since I can't get it started, I don't think that grease is going to help. Um, yeah, the, is, there's no bevel on the bottom of the glass, right? That not anything. I mean, it's, yeah. It's, so it, it might cut the O-ring if it. Um, I mean, there's there's a very there's very a, slight. Bevel. I think you could get it on with grease, but you'd make a mess. And so, might as well just try it like this and see if we pull a good vacuum, we pull a good vacuum. Okay. So, give it a go. All right, we got the front window onto the doer. It's a fused silica window. Maybe fused quartz, have to look it up. But it's very clear. Um, so that's gonna be that, our outer vacuum window on the can. Now we gotta put the windows into the intermediate stages. This is the 50 Kelvin stage right here. This is the four Kelvin stage. This is the steel shield, which is about 
800 millikelvin. So we got to put windows in all three of those. And I've gone through the lab and picked up our old window holders. And so we're going to try to use this for lab. We're going to, we're going to try to find a window holder that fits uh, our current windows and is the right style. We've used a couple different styles of these filter holders over the years, so this might be a little be a little banging on things. Yeah, we got several of these uh, several of these old school filter holders. Um, you see, they're they're designed to take a two inch filter. You drop it in there, and then there's a ring that goes in and screws it down, um, and then the outside threads into the um, into the holder. And we do have these screw holes here for heat sinking if we need them. Um, this is the newer design. And one thing you'll note is that this is not, there's an angle here. See how it's shallower here than here? But we have all the windows tilted to avoid ghosting, multiple reflections off the windows. And so it makes, makes machining these a little tighter. This one's pretty dirty. We're definitely gonna need to clean it up to see if we can use it. But first we need to check that they fit. And then we need a third holder for, the, um, for that thick piece of glass which, or we need to get a thinner piece of glass. We'll see. So unsurprisingly, this, uh, despite giving the machine shop uh, a piece to work with to set the thread depth, it looks like it's wrong. So I'm gonna take the, this filter out and then I'm gonna take the, the window holders out, bring them back down to the machine shop with this piece so that they can make sure that it actually threads in. So. First thing, you got to take out this um, filter. Yeah, so this is the custom scientific filter on here. Custom scientific filter. It's got, um, this is a custom multi layer filter on a piece of. Uh, of glass, and then we have the split ring washer that, that holds it down and, and the threaded piece. So I'm gonna bring this piece down to the shop and they can use this as a guide to make sure we can actually thread it in. The problem here is that you have to get, when you have a thread, it's hard, once it comes off the lathe, it's much harder to get it deeper. You have to clock it perfectly uh, in order to get this deeper and have it work. So it's possible we'll need to just have these parts remade. If they spend some, it looks like they barely did more than a scratch pass though. So they, they also could make a tool with an external thread and try to actually thread it. I'm not sure. We'll talk to Bobby and see which one he wants to do. All right, next time we check them before we install them. Yeah. This is the annoying one with the torques. We can either go inside or outside the torques. I think we need a Torx T10. I don't know if we have a Torx T10. Of course we have Torx T5 and T15, but not T10. All right, we got unlucky. So this one, this um, filter holder is the one I gave to the machine shop and it fits perfectly. So it turns out this one was about two thousandths of an inch smaller than the other. So maybe there was a tolerance of plus or minus one thousand and this one was under by a thousand, the other one's above. So, it, so basically this one would fit into a bigger hole just loosely, but the other, when I use this as the guide to make this one, they ended up uh, being a little undersized. Um, and so the other ones, which are bigger, don't fit in. So the shop's modifying the plates now and we'll, uh, we'll Get back to it. I also just got fingerprints all over this, so I'm gonna clean it up.